So this is a personal share about my experiences that happened when I first tried Blue Lotus Flower Tea. I stumbled upon it to be used in tea in my local organic shop in Whitby, thought I would give it a go. So I'd heard that the plants played an important role in ancient Egypt as a sacred herb and that it, it's a very high frequency plant. Now, since many of my guides are Egyptian and I can land in Egypt and retrieve information for use in my everyday spirituality and astrology, I thought Blue Lotus Flower might resonate well with my ancient body and soul. And it did. So if you've known me for a while, you will also know I have easy experience without substance to enter different spaces and realms for lucid dreaming and visionary exploration in daily life as well as during meditation. So the first time I tried it, it was late afternoon, shortly before tea time, and very quickly after half a cup, I felt myself relax, a really beautiful, expansive effect on my nervous system. By the time I drunk two small cupfuls, I was feeling pretty spacey and it was time for us to eat. Now, sitting down at the dining table is something that we do across many lifetimes. It's an important ritual in our daily lives. I was sitting at the table with my partner and his teenage daughter when suddenly I was also sitting at the table in another life at the same time. So this is not unusual for me. It's almost like um, augmented reality. I could hear the sound of crockery, the conversation, and I paid attention. I was in the retrieval mode. I knew where I was, which place exactly, which culture, who I was married to, who was the leader of the country, uh, the tone of the conversation, the smells. The purpose of this is not me sharing the detail. That's not the point of the story. It was a wonderfully rich experience that helped me to understand a lot about an aspect of self that helped me review and put to rest some issues that I've already lived in this lifetime as Rachel. Now, after years of working in this way, it felt like a really natural self-healing process. And then for a few days afterwards, synchronicities and numbers poured through my life, through myself and through other people that confirmed for me the year that I'd been living in this experience that I'd had. This helped me to further research and investigate more about the time and culture with which I'd made contact and it helped me to further resolve and understand things on the mental level um, to really put to rest um, what I'd already brought through my body, heart and soul. So I also realised that going forward I would probably benefit from reducing the dose of blue lotus flower tea for me. So recently I found the optimum amount for me that helps to relax my nervous system naturally but without the time travelling experiences. So I share this just to normalise everyday spiritual experience for us. When I read a person's astrology chart, often I'm shown a lot of information about how a person is designed to retrieve spiritual information for them. We are absolutely not all the same. You wouldn't have the same experience just from drinking blue lotus flower tea. We've all come through with different skills remembered and we can help each other to co-create and make sense of the world that we're living in now. So I would love to know if you take anything from this experience and whether you have tried Blue Lotus Flower Tea.